Hello there, my name is Chingwe Basso, a Doncaster-based artist, and today I will be talking about a Mexican art movement uh, referred to as the Rupture Movement. This video is part of Doncaster Art Movement Project, sponsored by Doncaster Council's Fighting Back Fund. Many artists have already taken part and spoken about various other art movements, and uh, we encourage you to watch uh, the videos. Um, the aim of these videos is to help you to understand a bit more about art and the rich long history behind it. This way you can take part um, uh, yourself or um, you can be encouraged to uh, visit more exhibitions uh, and, and participate in art events which happen in Doncaster because there are many of them. Now, back to the subject of today. The 1950s uh, and, and 60s in Mexico was a very dynamic time. The war was over, the Mexican Revolution was over, the country was rebuilding itself, looking towards the future and looking towards the outside world for influence and uh, inspiration. There were very strong poli political influences um, in the arts at this time, um, and the dominant art form then was murals. Uh, which had been existing, you know, uh, had been practiced for quite a long time. Now, Mexican muralists, uh, though it's not a subject of today, uh, but I think it's important to mention mention that. Uh, Mexican mur muralism was uh, the promotion of mural paintings, and it started round about in the 1920s, and generally they have social and political messages and, uh, as part of efforts to reunify the country under the post Mexican Revolution uh, government. Uh, from the 1920s to about 1970s, many murals um, with uh, nationalistic, uh, social and political messages were created uh, mainly on public buildings uh, and this started a tradition which continues to this day in Mexico and has had impact in other parts of the Americas including the United States. Now, the rupture art movement was a reaction against this very dominant and very visible muralist mo movement. Uh, one of the leaders of this movement was an artist called uh, Jose Luis uh, Cuevas. I'm sure I haven't said the, the name right, it's probably Jose, um, as well as various other artists. At the time, they thought the mural art had become nationalistic and criticized, it, uh, criticized them as being heavily chauvinistic, simplistic and differential towards the then government. Perhaps they thought the mural artists had become too nice, too close uh, to the government, instead of sleeping with the enemy, you could say. Um, so the rupture movement uh, artists rejected social realism and nationalism and instead incorporated surrealism and were more interested in personal issues than social issues. So they looked towards a person, uh, uh, towards themselves as inspiration for their art as opposed to towards the government. Um, they, they rejected the, re the rigid restrictions imposed by the government on the arts uh, because the, the government su supported heavily um, the, the muralist art movement and, and, and they sought uh, to break away from that climate. Perhaps uh, people's early reaction to rupture artists was um, uh, very strong and negative actually um, and because uh, the Mexican government carefully supervised the art venues, the, the artists in the rupture movement couldn't exhibit their works anywhere, nobody wanted them. Despite being ignored uh, by society and the government, uh, they continued to experiment and challenge the government and the muralist art style. And uh, What they were aiming to do was to establish their creative freedom without the government imposing what they paint and where they, where they, could, uh, where they could paint it. Due to sheer determination and, and uh, perseverance, the, the rupture movement um, took over and by the late 1950s and 60s the artists began to exhibit their artworks at large venues something which was denied to them before so uh jose louis cuevas is considered uh, one of the prominent artists of the rupture movement like i like i said before along with pedro Co uh, coronel gabriel uh, ramirez fernando garcia and many others uh, jose himself uh, was a self-thought painter artist 
he was particularly outspoken against the government's control of the art sector. Most of his, his artworks are drawings of mis, uh, misshapen creatures and misery in the contemporary world. Perhaps he was feeling all of that inside, you know, sort of letting out his frustrations against the world and against the restrictions towards uh, uh, using his art. Uh, he had his first exhibition in 1953 at the Galera Prix, uh, and he also went further to do many other solo exhibitions uh, in Washington, D.C. And, and um, he, he, he died uh not not too long ago actually in 2017 in general the rupture movement was so influential uh, that it reflected in literature and other areas uh, the artists in this movement managed to change what they saw as a conservative and rigid art imposed by the state and implemented a more flexible approach to art uh, which enabled uh, further development of, of the Mexican arts that we that we know today. Um, I hope this has given you a sort of brief insight into this fascinating subject. Obviously, there's a lot more to it than, than this. Um, and I wish to thank uh, the wonderful young student, Adama Ibe, who's, who served as my research assistant in creating this video. I encourage you to also watch our video on the Mexican muralist uh, movement, which I mentioned uh, earlier on in this video, as it will uh, it will throw more light into art history from 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 that part of the world, uh, because it's, it's something you know bold, bright, and colorful, which which you know I encourage you to to look at in more more details. And um, uh, finally, I would like to thank. Thank uh, Doncaster Council for sponsoring this video and all the other videos we, we, we've done. And also to tell you to be sure to check out all the wonderful art events which take place in the fascinating town of Doncaster uh, through uh, a lot of wonderful art, art organizations which exist here. Uh, I would like to say goodbye for now. Uh, see you soon. This is Chinwe Russell, artist. Thank you.